In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And a warm welcome to all of you. So beautiful to see so many here as we gather together as we begin this beautiful season of Lent when we turn our hearts back to our loving Father and accept the gift that he has given to us, which is the gift of being his sons and daughters. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Be seated. A reading from the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart. With fasting and weeping, rend your hearts and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing and offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet, proclaim a fast, call an assembly. Gather the people, assembly the elders, and gather the children. Let the ministers of the Lord weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Our psalm is number 53 in the Blue Gather. Be merciful, O Lord. Number 
A, re a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you, have no, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, Anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. All right, so who, who knows what season we are just entering into now, Zoe? The season of Lent, right? And so in the Gospel today, Jesus refers to a couple of things that we do, and the, it's the, a couple of things, three things that we do, especially during this beautiful season of Lent. And he tries to tell us how we're supposed to do it. But who remembers what those three things are? Any thoughts? Did you have it? Yeah? We don't eat meat on Fridays. It's one of the things we do. You're right. It's one of the things we do during Lent. We don't eat meat on Fridays. There are three things that Jesus talked about in the gospel today that we're supposed to do. 
Okay, go ahead. Yes, right? So two of those are, one of those are praying. What's praying? What does it mean when we pray? What are we, what are we doing when we pray? Henry? We're talking with God, right? We're sharing with him what's going on in our hearts and in our life. We're asking from him. We're praising him. We're, we're thanking him. We're talking with God. Quinn? Oops, sorry. Right, and then we... Yes. Right, so we also give something up, right, during this season of Lent. And so we're fasting. So what is fasting? Who knows what fasting is? It's not just going fast, right? Go ahead. Okay. That's okay. Let's see. What's fasting, Helen? Right, it involves giving something up, right? Especially to give something up out of love. So we're, we're fasting, we're, we're letting go of things. What are some of the things you, you, you are going to be fasting from during this Lent? Go ahead. Candy, right? It's a beautiful thing to give up, really beautiful. Go ahead. Chocolate, right? Go ahead. Chocolate too, beautiful. And cake, yeah, that's going to be hard. I bet. Go ahead, Olivia. Sweets, right? Lots of candy. Go ahead. TV, that's really hard sometimes, right? Giving up screens. Go ahead. Chocolate, yeah. What else are we giving up? Go ahead. Chocolate, right? Go ahead. Cora. Chicken. <laughs> So there's all sorts of things we can give up. Go ahead, Go ahead Elizabeth. Go ahead. Turkeys. Yeah, yeah, we can give all of that up. Exactly, right? So we're letting go of these things, right? So we have prayer. We have fasting. And then there's another word. Anybody remember it? it might, we might have missed it. Anybody else? That would? Go ahead. Yes. Giving alms. And what does that mean? What's giving alms? What does that mean? Go ahead, did you? Any thoughts? How about for many of our older kids? What does giving alms mean? Any thoughts, guys? Giving alms? What in the world are... Okay, here we go. Yeah, go ahead. To give, to give over things, right? To give people things. Is that what it was? Or? Yeah. It's, it's, being, it's sharing with other people what we have. It's being good to others. It's loving other people. That's what giving alms mean. It means sharing what we have with others. Have you guys thought about that at all? Are you, are you going to be giving alms at all during this Lent? What might you be sharing with others? Any thoughts? Henry? Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing to think about. If you have a lot of toys, maybe someone else would like to share them. Use them. Go ahead. And you can share prayer with others and to offer peace. It's a beautiful gift. Oops, sorry, I have to get a little closer. Nice and loud. You can share Jesus, right? Sometimes we forget that we have Jesus and we can share him with others. What's it? Any other thoughts on what we can share with others? Okay, so there are a lot of things that we, Oh, here we go. We can share love, right? Beautiful. Donna? Food, right? There are a lot of hungry people today that we can share our food with others. We can share our money, right? All of this we can share. Go ahead, sir. Kindness. Kindness, right? Beautiful. Okay, so all of those, these things we can share. So we are praying, talking with God, 
fasting, letting go of things in our life, and we are sharing, giving alms. Those are the three things that we're, we're meant to do the whole of our life. But in a special way during this season of Lent, we're doing those three things more intentionally. I want to notice one other thing. That, so there's another thing that Jesus said in the gospel today. He said, when you do those things, someone is going to be seeing you in secret. Who is that someone? Who, do you, who is that? Go ahead. Jesus, or Jesus. Jesus is saying it. In a way, it's very related to Jesus. But he, go ahead. God, and in a very special way, God the Father, right? God the Father. Your Father, your Heavenly Father, will see you doing those in secret. Now, does your father, what do you think? Does our Father love us? Who thinks God the Father does not love us? Let's see a show of hands. Good. Who, see, who thinks he does love us? Right? So it's our Father who sees all that's happening. And part of the reason we, we do those things, why do we do them? Why do we do these three things during the season of Lent? Why do we pray? Because we go and to talk to our Father who loves us. We're becoming his children more deeply. We go and talk to him. Be with him so that we can be his sons and daughters. Why do we let things go during the season of Lent? Because who wants to give things to us more than anyone but our Father? God the Father wants to shower his blessings upon us. And sometimes we take too many things, too many cakes, too, many, uh, too much candy, because we think we, we need it. But our Father wants to give us all sorts of blessings. And so we let go of things we don't need, and sometimes we let go of things that we do need, so that our Father can love us and bless us. And we give alms because of our Father too. Our Father is all goodness. He is all love. He is all giving. And so when we, when we give and we share with others, we become like him. We become his sons and we become his daughters. And so that's what we're doing there during this season of Lent. We're, we're turning back to our Father so that we can be his sons and daughters by fasting, by praying, and by giving alms. Let's stand together, and we're going to bless the ashes now. So dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes, which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, Lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. seated once again and we'll come forward just like we do for, for communion.
Please join us in singing number 280 in the Blue Gather, Dust and Ashes, number 280.
Let's stand together and present our petitions and our needs before our loving Father. That the people of all nations work towards unity, prosperity, and peace. We pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Father John, Father Paul, and all the leaders of our church, that they may wisely guide us in our efforts to be like Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, the homeless, the unemployed, and those struggling with loss, that the love of Christ will bring them happiness and peace. We pray to the Lord. That all those affected by war, violence, and natural disasters will receive the help they need and the comfort of God's love. We pray to the Lord. That we will be courageous in our Lenten journey as we face the crosses and challenges of our own lives. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here today, that we may remember the blessings we have and show our love of God through our words and actions, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. We pray for Jim Budd, for whom this, ma this Holy Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we, your sons and daughters, come before you, proclaiming that we have turned away from you. We desire to turn back. We ask you would bless us abundantly, listen to these, our needs, and receive us even more deeply into your loving care. We ask this through Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our preparation hymn is number 200, wait, it's number 282 in the Blue Gather, Hosea, number 282.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you and your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched before heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more, giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Oh. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 283 in the Blue Gathered. Return to God, number 283.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord. Let our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, May they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Our closing hymn is number 467 in the Red Hymnal. The Glory of These Forty Days, number 467. Thank you.